Welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. You know, there's a reason why people like Jordan Peterson skyrocket to global success, become less human being, less person, and more phenomenon, intellectual phenomenon in this case, and other people just wither away and lose all respect. Let's just refer to it as the market, the marketplace of good ideas. And folks, over the last couple of years, it's been almost like a battle of the titans. Jordan Peterson versus, of course, Sam Harris. Sam Harris has often been viewed as an intellectual heavyweight, an intellectual leader in the world of atheism, from my understanding, and modern-day philosophy. But then, of course, sometimes when people are built up so big and so monumental, they crumble and crash down real bad. And that's exactly what's happening to Sam Harris. And some people might say why and how. Well, very simply, with good reason. What an absolute hack this man is, or possibly this man has become. I'm not sure if he's always been like this, or if it's just a severe case of Trump derangement syndrome. But if you ask me, this man, Sam Harris, just ruined his entire career in about a two-minute podcast with trigonometry. I'm sure you guys are aware of the podcast. If you're not, you should definitely take a look. But man, what this guy, Sam Harris, said on that podcast, podcast, the viral clip that's currently bouncing around Twitter and other platforms, is one of the most indefensibly, irrefutably stupid things I think I've ever heard. It's something that I don't even think Bill Maher would say, and Bill Maher's got a serious personal vendetta against Donald Trump. I mean, this is Trump derangement syndrome to the next level, and of course, you know we gotta talk about it. Let me show you guys what's going on here, let's take a look at the clip, and then let's just have a little conversation like we normally do. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so we don't really need too much context. Let's just play the clip. I mean, Hunter Biden, at that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement. I would not have cared, right? It's like, it's, there's nothing. First of all, it's Hunter Biden, right? It's not, it's like, it's not Joe Biden. But even if Joe, like, even the, whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like, if, you, if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and, and understand that he's getting kickbacks from Hunter Biden's deals in Ukraine or wherever else, right? Or China. It is infinitesimal compared to the corruption we know Trump is involved in. It's like it's like it's like a firefly to the sun, right? I mean, like there's just it doesn't even it doesn't even stack up against Trump University, right? Trump University as a story is worse than anything that could be in in Hunter Biden's laptop, in my view, right? Now that's not that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the, you know, the New York Post's Twitter account. Like that, that's a, just a conspiracy, that's a left-wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to Donald Trump. Absolutely it was, absolutely, right? But I think it was warranted, right? And, I'm, and again, it's a coin toss as to whether or not- Sam, I'm sorry. That particular piece I'm, I'm is, really yeah. sorry. I, I was the one that said we should move yeah, yeah. on, but you've just oh, said yeah. something I really struggle with it. there, which is the you kid, the support- kid, the, kid, the kids in the basement? You, no, no. <laughs> kids in the basement. I'm interested in democracy. You're saying you are content with a left-wing conspiracy to prevent somebody being democratically re-elected as president. Well, no, I'm, I'm content. Well, so it's, but the thing is, it's just not left-wing, right? So Liz Cheney is not left-wing, right? Liz Cheney is doing everything with a in her power. conspiracy to prevent somebody no, being democratically it's not elected. A, no, but there's nothing, conspiracy, it's not, it, it was a conspiracy out in the open. It does, but it doesn't matter if it was, a, it doesn't matter what part's conspiracy, what part's out in the open. I mean, I think it's like, if people get together and talk, and talk about what should we do with, about this phenomenon, you know, if, if it's like, if there, if there was an asteroid hurtling toward Earth and, and we got in a room together with all of our friends and had a conversation about what we could do to deflect its course, right? Is that a conspiracy? You know, like some Have you ever heard anything so utterly ridiculous? Keep in mind, this is the continued irony of the word liberal, or rather, people who identify as such. Sam Harris would tell you that he's a liberal. Then here's Sam Harris arguing that big government corruption in connection with oligarchical tech companies censoring the free flow of ideas, speech, stories is a justifiable means to an end if it means stopping Donald 
Donald Trump from getting elected. That is what a liberal just said. And his justification, probably even more ridiculous, was Trump University. Just to prove how totally intellectually dishonest this man is, as if Trump University is a more egregious crime than peddling influence through the vice president's office through your crackhead son, using the Oval Office to make millions upon millions of dollars through foreign lobbyist interest in Ukraine and China as well as other states. I mean, who's really the crackhead here? Is it Hunter Biden or is it Sam Harris? What is this guy even on about? Trump University is a big corrupt crime and scandal? Trump University is basically the exact same thing that every single real estate and finance guy on the internet does. Go to any finance YouTube channel. They're all finance gurus and finance real estate people and they all sell courses and seminars. That's exactly what Trump University was. Except the only thing is, the only big egregious offense from Trump University was the fact that he called it a university, but it didn't offer credits. And people claimed that it was false marketing or some sort of scheme. Donald Trump was merely offering seminars, real estate seminars, and path to wealth seminars, which look, maybe it was a bad image, maybe it wasn't a great idea, and maybe it went a little bit off. Whether that's through Donald Trump's influence or other people who were involved, we don't know the whole story. A settlement was paid in 2016 we get that, but for the most part, it's par for the course in the finance and real estate world. There's all kinds of these finance and real estate gurus who are all pushing a very similar type of grift, or in many cases, actually offering great seminars and courses, and they're making tens of millions doing so. To pretend as if that is the worst crime of all time, and it's totally disqualifying for somebody who wants to be president, is absolutely psychotic. And then to say something that he wouldn't even care if Hunter Biden had bodies in his base because, oh, my Trump University. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And then to use that to justify a corrupt censorship conspiracy, which willfully got in the way of democracy and the American people having the information that they needed to make a clear, informed decision on who's going to lead the nation. This is some real dystopian stuff, and this guy calls himself a liberal. You're not a liberal if you're essentially promoting Soviet Union, CCP-style censorship government corruption and conspiracies to get in the way of the democratic process. What happened to my democracy? The same people who have been complaining about my democracy and the sanctity of democracy and Donald Trump is the end of democracy and Russia collusion influencing our elections. Whatever happened to that? Sam Harris essentially just said the quiet part out loud. That this is exactly what so-called liberals endorse. The state working with massive oligarchs to control information, control what you can and can't see, because they alone get to choose who's president, or at least get to influence it heavily, because you might make the wrong decision, and you don't have the right to participate in democracy, at least not fairly, because the elites, the perceived inter intellectual elites like Sam Harris are better at making decisions than you are. Well, how's that one playing out? Joe Biden continues to be the biggest disaster to ever step foot in the Oval Office, at least in modern history. Oh, but my Trump University, I mean, idiotic stuff. This guy is supposedly an intellectual heavyweight. He's a munchkin as far as I'm concerned. Or his thought process has been severely compromised by his clear emotional and personal feelings about the situation. There's another way to describe it. It's called Orange Man Bad. Orange Man Bad Syndrome or Trump Durant syndrome, whatever you want to call it, it's all the same damn thing. And it's continued proof that it makes you act absolutely irrationally. It shows exactly why the endless persecution of Donald Trump is very easily not legitimate. You know, people continue to try to make the case that, well, the FBI and the DOJ are acting very much rationally and based on the evidence and information. But when you see this kind of stuff, when you see the lengths that people are willing to throw away democratic values and liberal values to get Donald Trump, it's it starts to give you a little bit of a different perspective that maybe these people are just completely out of control, they've lost all control, and it's get Donald Trump no matter what the cost to our reputation or to basic American institutions and American democracy is. Again, the same mud democracy crowd are the first people to throw away the democratic process or the legal process because for them, the ends justify the means. Get Donald Trump, even if it means throwing away every 
everything that's built up the great nation of the United States. I mean, the constant hypocrisy is just incredible. When Donald Trump was president, oh, he's acting unconstitutionally. But then, of course, the Constitution isn't exactly important to them. They'll willingly throw it away if it means they'll get to Trump. In fact, we keep hearing them these days argue that the Constitution is just a paper or an outdated document that was written in a different time. The Constitution is really important when it backs up their argument, but it's an outdated document that should be abolished or thrown away if it gets in their way. These people call themselves liberals. You are not liberal. You're the start of a communist revolution. You're repeating history. You're authoritarian leftists who are finally showing their true colors. The chameleons are finally revealing themselves, is what I'm noticing. Another great element of Donald Trump as a human being and as a politician, he makes these people act so completely irrationally, he makes them so emotional, that they end up showing exactly who they are. Donald Trump exposed the media, and he exposed all of these pseudo-liberals by his mere existence. He's unmasked them all. Or frankly, they unmask themselves, and Sam Harris is the latest victim. Another pseudo intellectual, pseudo-liberal fraud. Another authoritarian leftist. This guy's career is over. But that also means the video is over. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel if you're up for it. I'm going to get back to work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.